We often think of pulses as being a rather humble ingredient, but actually you can make some really fantastically stylish food with them too. Today I'm going to make three party dips and I'm going to start off using black beans. I've softened some onion and some garlic and a little olive oil and I'm going to add that to the food processor. The next thing I'm adding are the smoked chipotle peppers. I'm going to chop them roughly just so I don't get any great big hot bits of fiery chilli in the puree. Now it's time for the black beans to go in and some lime juice, a good dollop of sour cream and some just lightly crushed cumin. A little pinch of salt and you're pretty much there. Now you want to pulse it just for a moment or two and leave it nicely textured and then it's time to have a taste because you can never be sure quite how hot those little chilies are. You want to see what's going on. And I think I could have just a touch more salt and definitely a little bit of heat. So I'll put a couple of drops of Tabasco in there. So I'm going to tip that into a little serving bowl and then add a dollop of sour cream and some freshly chopped coriander. And that's dip one done. And now we're on to some roast pumpkin hummus. This time I'm adding garlic, chickpeas, lemon juice, roast pumpkin, a good glug of olive oil, extra virgin, and a little pinch of salt. And the whole thing just gets whizzed together. This time you're pulsing it for a little bit longer because it's quite nice for it to feel a little bit smoother and creamier. That goes into a little bowl and then it's up to you but I like a bit of spicy harissa in there. That goes on the top, a little bit of chopped parsley and that's dip number two done and we're on to the last one. Cannellini beans this time with some garlic, some lemon, a little bit of salt and some olive oil. That gets whizzed together and then it's ready to go into a mixing bowl because this time I'm going to add a bit of beetroot. This has just been roasted until it's tender and then it's going to go into the blender with a little bit of ground coriander and some dill. Add the beetroot mix to the cannellini puree and just give it a little swirl, don't overdo it. Pop it into a little serving dish, splash on a bit of extra virgin olive oil and a little sprig of dill and you're done. So we've got some smoky black bean dip with chipotle peppers. We've got a hummus with roast pumpkin and some lovely harissa on the top, a cannellini and beetroot dip. And I'm gonna serve those with some crudités, some chips and crisps, and they look really beautiful. What a great way to start a party. And it's all down to three fabulous pulses. Thank you.